Okay, so I'm going to do a 10 by 20 today um, using that airbrush and uh, these colors. So I'm using metallic purple, copper, a red blend that I did. I did uh, bright red and then another red where I had added some black to it and mixed it in here with this cup here and a turquoise and then I have some extra white just in case I need it so these are the colors this is my red oh let me get out of I have to remember this is my red and it is kind of deep and then my turquoise I'm in my pajamas so my pajamas are like falling off right now and this is my little bit of copper color and my purple so I'm going to do a uh, pour not dirty cup or anything like that just pour my paint out and work it with this white paint here so let's get started okay and this is a big <laughs> this is a big there. I'm trying to get everything in the camera, but if I'm out frame, sorry, it's pretty big. Should have strained my paint a little bit. After this is all gone, I'm going to be using house paint, so let's see how that works out. Use a big stick because this is too big for me to be trying to pick up. I might tilt it a little bit. Let's see. Okay, pull this down just a little bit. And I have push pins underneath my canvas and I tape the bottom because I don't like no messy bottoms. Some people tape them, some people don't. I suggest taping them. But to each his own, you know, do what works for you. Alright, I'm just going to rub this on across like this. So I can get this incorporated quickly. Don't want to waste up all the video just laying down some white paint and I hate using my hands you know I know what paint feels like and my paint is cold even though I'm in a warm room all right I might need to add some more we'll see we will see and it looks like might not let me see it's flowing pretty good I'm trying to get into the habit of making skins out of my resin I mean out of my acrylic pores because I got some great ideals to, to um, use with that and it's not making jewelry so, you can stamp shapes out and stuff with that. So, let's see what I can do. All right, let me see if I can get back in frame. Yeah, yes, I did it. Get me a paper towel. All right. Let's this up a little bit. Roll my paper towels back up. I'm gonna get me some more just in case. I see a couple of little things in my paint. Let me see this. That's why I said I should have strained my paint. Okay. 
speed it up so we can get some smoothness going on. Oh, and turn this on. This is a new torch. So I've been, I made some skins today, so I have to use this one. I just want to pick this up. I'm kind of off the plastic here. I'm probably all in the frame, but I got to be right now. I just want to put a couple of little drops right here. And do my sides real quick. Bear with me, people. This is a big, <laughs> this canvas is big. Stop complaining. Fast forward. Like I do. Or watch me. Because you like me struggling. Either or. I'm here for your entertainment. Okay. That looks good. I'm worth I'm worth that. I'm going to work it. I'm going to put the top on this. And I just keep filling this up with paint, if you're wondering. Alright, I'm going to go over this one more time with the torch and try not to melt that plastic back there. I just don't want any bubbles. Alright, let's go with these colors. Pajamas. I'm wearing like pajama shorts if you're wondering. I like to share myself. My clothing. I put silicone in all my colors. Okay. So I'm just going to do this metallic purple straight down the middle and I'm not saving anything I'm just going with it toss that I'm done put it in the garbage okay I'm gonna do some copper I'm kind of Crisscross it here and there. So when I blow this, with the easy air gun, air machine, it works for me. This is the turquoise. I think I'm just gonna bring it straight on down this purple. I have no rhyme, no plan. I'm just going with it this is gonna get blown anyways let me save some of this and the red okay I'm even gonna put some white in here even though it has white but I'm gonna put white on top of white if that makes any sense and just see what happens all right let me just tilt this stuff just a little bit just to flatten it out a little bit let's get the nice air gun and get going with it. Okay, I have to move these. They're in my way. Or I'll end up turn 
his PSI up just a little bit. I don't want it conking out on me like that. Just blow some this way. Try not to get the. Ooh. I think I turned it up too high. We'll fix that. Don't worry. Turn it down some. Yeah, I just want to mix it and soften everything out and then let the silicone do its thing. And when this dries, this is going to dry so soft. Right now, it just looks like, whoa, she tripping. No, actually, I'm not. Because I will show you a painting I did on black. It was like a little nebula painting. And I'm telling you. That bad boy dried almost invisible. I love it. I'm gonna bring all of this. Actually, I'm not gonna do that at all. I'm just gonna tilt it. And just let that all run down. And then if I need to, I don't wanna go on too fast now. I will blow it out again. Stop your screaming. You're like, no, she just freaking ruined it. Did I? You can't ruin the acrylic. Are you serious? That's impossible. Actually, it's not impossible, but yeah. This is what I want. Trust me. I'm just going to encourage this. It's going too slow for me. I want it to look like melted ice cream. That's pretty. All right. Let's bring some whiskeys. Okay, I got this down low because I want it light. Okay, I don't know why the silicone is all of a sudden just popped up. Did you see that? I hope that showed up on camera. I didn't add no heat to it. I'm gonna have to add some white back on here. Yeah, that's what I want it. Looks like a color explosion. Just to come up. 
And I'm gonna call this done. Let's put some flames to it. And uh, have some white back here that I just poured off. And then I'll bring you down here so you can see this. And once again, I'm sorry if I'm out of frame. I'm not trying to be. And I'm certainly not trying to be in this picture. Because I'm in my PJs. Some of y'all might want to see that. But uh, too bad. Make an appointment. All right. I got my arm in the way. Some folks was complaining about my arms. Sorry. Sorry, baby. All right. Let's bring some heat to this, if it even needs it. Clean my hands off. Try not to mess up my... There you go. Oh my God, that's so pretty. And then I'll show you this one painting where I said that it just faded like into nothing. Let me see if my old torch has me. And it does. really going to be pretty once I get some um, resin on it for sure. Okay, I'm glad I saved some of this white paint. I'm just going to drizzle just a little bit. And then I'll bring you down so you can see this. Take my gloves off. I'm getting on my nerves. There we go. Okay. Let me show this first and then I'll bring you up. So I did this painting a couple of days ago, and I'm you know, sure you guys all seen the video. And you see how you can't even see it, because there you go. It is so light when it dried. So go back if you can and look at this video, and you'll see how dark this was. You can barely see that pink now. So yay, I'm glad. Let me bring you down so you can see this because we're going in tonight 10 minutes and I want to be done. Alright. Focus camera. Let me go this way. Look at how pretty that is. My camera does not want to focus. On the detail, but it is pretty. Take my word for it. Look at all that softness going on. Pull it all in. Try to bring it back in for you. And that is so pretty. How that looks. Trying to. There we go. all that. I'm going to turn this way because I'm getting some shadows. 
I want you to see this. Good grief. I don't know what's wrong with my camera today. It must be too much color. So cool. Oh, now you want to focus. So nice. All right, my camera's not acting right, so I'll just take a still photo and uh, show you. 10 by 20. There you go. Pieces.